If you need to use your tractor and you do not have the time to charge the battery, jumping the battery from a fully charged battery is an option. You can use the battery in your vehicle, however, the engine in the vehicle must not be running. After jump starting the tractor, it still needs to be fully charged. Beware that the charging system on some tractor engines is designed to maintain but not fully charge the battery. Fully charging the tractor battery with an automotive battery charger will still be necessary. Tractor batteries are rated at 12 volts DC, and the battery you use to jump the tractor battery must also be a 12 volt battery. Connect one end of the red jumper cable to the positive terminal on each battery, taking care not to short either cable clamp against any metal tractor parts. Connect one end of the black cable to the negative terminal of the fully charged battery. Connect the other end of the black cable to a good chassis ground on the tractor that is away from the fuel tank and the battery. The hitch on the tractor is a good grounding location. Ensure that a good electrical connection is made by moving the jumper cable clamp back and forth. Once the connections have been made, you can now use the normal starting sequence for starting the tractor as explained in your owner's manual. If the battery is mounted at the rear of the tractor, leave the seat up with the jumper cables attached. You must engage the parking brake, disengage the mower lever, engage the engine choke, and start the engine according to your owner's manual. Once the tractor engine starts, immediately remove the jumper cables in the reverse order. Remove the black cable from the chassis ground first, then from the fully charged battery. Last, remove the red cables from both battery terminals and place them in a safe location. Note, continuous jumping of the battery is not recommended and may damage the electrical charging system on the tractor. 